Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear of the Land with Lee and Steffi in Victoria. Just like back in Central Asia, we are going to stop on the side of the road and fill up the water from a spring. We've never done that in Australia yet. We've leveled the car using the airbag man system so the water tank is level and we can fill it up to its full capacity. My hose is not quite long enough. The water is going through a pump and a pre-filter so we can fill up our tank from any water source. I do actually have an extension for this hose, but I can't be bothered getting it out. The hail, uh, it only lasted about, well, probably 10 seconds, but it was still a little bit scary. In the garage of our very good friend James, being a supporter of our videos for quite some time now, we've been in touch through social media, met today for the first time, absolute legend, and he has offered his shed uh, for me to pull this wheel bearing out and have a look, because I still haven't got around to that yet, but I did buy that 17 mil socket that was missing. Thanks again, mate, really appreciate it. Having a shed, jack stands to be safe, all the good stuff. Lee's doing the bearing outside and I am working inside. James has got a really, really interesting project on the go. He brews a little bit of beer himself with these uh, contraptions there, and he's now gonna put that practice into large scale operations. Lee was mentioning earlier about the brewery project that we've got going on in Mafra. It's called Freestone Aleworks. The greater project itself is called Mafco Tap House and Distillery. It's a brewery, it's a distillery, it's an event space. We're doing weddings, we'll have a restaurant. If you're in the area, uh, make sure you get yourself down there. James drives a Range Rover and it's all equipped for camping. Like, Steph, we haven't got room, we can't have one of these things and... So we'll flick it up, open yep. it like this and then Thank open you. the Pie door. Pie ready. The sort of kitchen-y thing. Um, so Beautiful. on this that. side is... I'll open up, towels, paper towel, all the essentials. So got just like oh, a nice. random assortment oh, of cooking yeah. utensils and stuff. Yeah. I've always got some food like pasta and... <laughs> ready to go. Ready for an overnighter at short notice. That's right. Fridge. Yeah, 75 litre. That's battery voltage there. 12 volts, Tiggy socket, 40 litre bladder okay. oh, that perfect. lives in the, the well underneath that floor. Oh, look at that. Travelling the toughest track in the Vic High Country, or one of, it's called Orton Track near Dargo. I don't think it's even maintained anymore, and trying to do that in the rangey, probably not the best idea. We lost the back end of the car. We did need to winch the last sort of 50 metres, and it was a, nice. a job. It took us about two hours of winching to get to the top. Yeah, solo vehicle, so it wasn't the smartest idea, but we did oh, it. Oh, you did it, mate. These are 20-inch road tyres, but we've got a set of 18-inch steels with 33-inch um, muddies on there, so that works a bit better. <laughs> From there, we made our way to the beautiful Wilson's Brom. We stayed in a campsite for the night. Today, we're going to hike a 15 kilometer one way to the most southern point or southernmost point of Australia. Mainland. This is called the Telegraph Track. Should be about 15 k's to get to the point. So, so far it's an old track and an old road. Not fantastic in my opinion <laughs> because it's just a road really but yeah very beautiful nature it's really peaceful and there's plenty of trees and it's good exercise Hello. i just passed the halfway of the way in finally we got onto a proper track much better 
this little trail is taking us to the end of mainland Australia. Made it! Pretty surreal to be standing here on the most southern point of the Australian mainland when only three months ago we were standing on the most northern point of the Australian mainland. It's a hell of a lot more of a mission to get to the most southern point. At the tip we met Lina and Robbie, an Estonian couple living in Australia. We hiked back together. We actually met the night before at the campsite and quickly realised that we knew a lot of people in common. Well done guys. Cruise with Susie is their Instagram. She's not a very big engine. How do we say goodbye in Estonian? Ciao. Ciao, okay, that's much easier. Ciao. Ciao. Au revoir, bye bye. Good morning from a freezing, bloody cold Victoria. A little roadside camp we stayed in last night after the South Point. Today, a ferry from Sorrento to I think it's called Queen's Cliff. We've got about half an hour till boarding, so we are gonna go for a little walk, get a coffee in this gorgeous area. This is the Mornington Peninsula. The ferry was quite efficient. It's only about 45 minutes and that includes the loading time. So about 30 minutes sailing time and we're just about to roll into the port of Queenscliff. Great Ocean Road, here we come. <laughs> Steffi preparing for a bit of windscreen filming as we embark on the Great Ocean Road. The Great Ocean Road is often described as one of the world's most scenic coastal touring routes. National Heritage listed. The road is about 240 kilometers long, stretching between Torquay and Allensford on the southeastern coast. It was built between 1919 and 1932 by returned soldiers. The road is the world's largest war memorial, dedicated to soldiers killed during World War I. Great Ocean Road is ranked amongst the top things to do in Australia. So here we are. It sure was a beautiful drive, but to be honest, quite busy as we were there on the weekend and they had plenty of roadworks going on. As we reached Apollo Bay, we had quite a surprise. Annyeonghaseyo! Hi, how are you? Awesome. This is Josh and his friends Ronnie and Theo. He has been following the adventure for a while Australia's and recognised the car. Yeah, Small countries. Australia's been beautiful, but it's been a little bit too easy. It's yeah. too easy now, you know, we're ready for challenges. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. And you. Awesome no, to meet absolutely. you. Really nice, nice to meet, to meet you, you guys. Likewise. Yeah. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. 
So we were starting to believe this whole koala bear thing was a bit of a myth. We've been here on the East Coast now for like a year, looking up and down all the way from Queensland. People have been telling us, yes, they're everywhere. We've got them in our backyard. We were yet to see one. Today, we've spotted one. Today we not only spotted one, but three koalas in the wild. They were actually very high in the trees, and that's probably why we never spotted them before. We didn't know that. So if you look for uh, koalas, right on top. We continued on the road to the next major spot. Formed by erosion, the Twelve Apostles is a collection of limestone stacks off the shore of Port Campbell National Park. The formation was officially named the Twelve Apostles, despite the fact that there were only eight stacks. In 2005, one of them collapsed. It is a very popular tourist attraction, and we were a little bit disappointed as we got there later in the day, few clouds around, the light wasn't great, and didn't enhance the sight like it's supposed to. We camped here last night. It's called the Simpson Recreation Reserve. It was $15 for the night with toilet and hot shower. 30 kilometers out of the Apostles. And we were the only one here. We're camped here northwest of Ballarat. We stayed with our very good friend Vic. Vic's from Taiwan and he lives here with his lovely family. We can't thank them enough for having us. We've been in touch with Vic for a long time actually. Way back before we even went to Taiwan. He helped us actually with a lot of information. And Vic has a beautiful 300 TDI Defender 130 with a self-built removable camper on the back of it. Defender convoy time. All right, let's do it. Vic and his wife took us on a short walk around Lake Dyersford. Oh, look at that. You guys take care, okay? And thank you so much again for everything. Cheers. Thank you. Speak to you soon. See ya. Bye bye. With our shipping approaching very soon, we were on a mission to catch up with friends. This is Pete and Liz. We've been in contact on social media for many years. We caught up before in New South Wales, but this was our first time meeting the immaculate troopy. Heading back to their home. <laughs> Boys in the Defender, ladies in the troopy. Yes! Uh, a little break in the river. I'll follow you. Thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh! The weather! I can't believe I'm here! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I must admit, the troopy was extremely comfy. Fantastic reversing skill. Okay. The defender was magic. I don't know what people whinge about. There's heaps of room, heaps of headrooms, very comfortable. I loved it. Troopies are unreal with the, the space that you've got it, in these things. It's such it, a good platform. It's crazy that we can actually sit in here. Not just that, we like stand up. Standing up. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Some water. <laughs> Palinka. So this is um, a Hungarian Palinka. national yeah, drink. Yeah. Thank you very so much. A distilled grape spirit. How do we say thank you in Hungarian again? Kösönöm. 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 No, I don't remember that one. Kösönöm. Kösönöm. Stephanie. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. to Woodoo. Check that out. <laughs> oh. Look at that little flash. <laughs> We're thinking of getting a troopy. What do you think? Yeah, very, very nice. Very cosy. First time actually being in Amalgo. We've been to the factory they're made. We've hung out with the guy that makes them. Hung out with plenty of people that have got them, but never been in one. Maybe we can sleep here tonight. Yeah. Well, it's not time for bed just yet. Pete and Liz had a beautiful surprise for us. A cold and bubbly French champagne. And some delicious food. Thank you. Mm. Awesome to hang out. We often say that, but we will see you again. Somewhere else in the world. And I've got the feeling it will be sooner than we think. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week for a technical video before the loading of grizzly and bear in a sea container. Until then, take care. Bye bye.